Hey guys, today I wanted to share some Happy Mail. Uh, I feel like I've been crying, it's because I have. <laughs> but um, I just got back from the post office and I can never wait to open it on camera. Which I'm kind of glad I didn't because I was crying. But I got a really awesome package today from uh, a viewer. And then I got a, or, an order that I ordered. A, pick, a thing that I ordered. And I also have a clip from a package I got last week. It was meant to be in Vlogmas the last day. But because of the fair and I was so busy, I forgot to add it into that video. So I'm going to add it to the end of this if I can find it. <laughs> and if not, I'll have to refilm it. But um, I've been crying. <laughs> Let me find the card. This is from Michelle. Out of the blue. wasn't expecting this at all. And um, I'm going to keep the letter private because, you know, that's the thing you want to do. But she sent me this really pretty card. It's textured too. It's really cool. But it just says, with a grateful heart, thanks. And uh, she wrote me a really nice letter, which is why I was crying. <laughs> and um, she sent me a bunch of stuff. I'm about to cry again. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying so much. But she sent me some uh, fabric and some other little gifts. And the reason I'm crying so much is because I hurt later and <sighs> I'm trying not to cry. Sometimes just getting a letter really helps. I share a lot of things with you guys, but I don't share everything, obviously. We have our private part of our lives, and sometimes just getting a letter with people who understand that is means a lot. Okay, I'm going to try really hard not to cry. <laughs> I'm just going to show you, start showing you stuff so that I won't quit thinking about it. But she sent some snacks, which is always good for me and Jesse. We're big snackers, and um, luckily Jesse's not here right now. He's still at my mom's, but he would be trying to steal all this. So she sent some, uh, what is this called? I forgot what this is called. But it's like popcorn mix. Cracker Jacks? Yeah, kind of. But one is Cinnabon, which Devin's probably going to try to steal, but I'm not going to let him. And this one is dark chocolate salted caramel, which also sounds really good. And then uh, behind it is some gummies, which will be for Jesse. He loves gummies. I love them too, but I will give them to him. She also sent two boxes of Halloween Junior Mints. I've never tried these ones, so... Hopefully they're good. That one's black. It's kind of weird. <laughs> but, um, I'll try them out. Uh, okay. She said this really awesome, uh, notebook. This, I love this. People's been sending me these notebooks, which is good because if I don't write stuff down, I forget it. Carla gave me some in the last, um, yarn carousel, and I've already used one of them all the way up, and I've got another one working on it now. But it's just got lined paper. A bunch of it, too. This I'll probably, since it's so nice, it's like a hardcover and this cool little band, I'll probably reserve this for a no catchy name, like uh, my notes for the videos, and maybe when I'm writing more patterns, uh, can jot them down in this before I top them up. And she sent me two balls of white yarn, which is so funny. I don't know if I've mentioned it much, but uh, yesterday I was just telling Devin, I have like this much white yarn left and I was making eyes for a ghost out of it. I had to make the ghost a cream color because I didn't have enough white to make him. And I told Devin, I was like, this time of year is so bad for white and black yarn because I go through it so fast with Halloween and Christmas because there's a lot of white and black stuff in Halloween and Christmas stuff. So I was going to have to buy um, some white yarn soon and now I don't have to because I got two balls of it. So that's really cool. That made me super happy when I opened that. That was the first thing I saw on top of it and I was like, ah. And she sent me some stitch markers and a cute organza bag. I'm getting so many of these now. But it's on this cool binder ring thing. She sent me one that's blue with butterflies on it and an R for Roberts. And then this one is a really cool looking bead. I don't know what that's even called. With uh, stork scissors. And then a really pretty white one with an E on it. Can't really see it that good, but there's an E on there. These are really cool. I will definitely be using these soon. And then she sent me some material and um, some more bag gear. This one bag has um, cords in it for drawstrings, you know. These are the stretchy ones that go along with uh, these little hardware thingies. 
uh, I can pick it up. But they, uh, you know, when you cinch a back shut, you push this up against it, and when you, when it's there, it's stuck, and then you have to push the little button to release it. I don't know what those are called, <laughs> drawstring pull thingies. But she sent me some of those, so I'll have to figure out how to use those the right way, and maybe put some of those on some bags. And then she sent me a bunch of fabric, and she actually, uh, she sent me money to buy <laughs> one of the bags that I'm going to be making out of this, and which is crazy, <laughs> but uh, super appreciative. And um, yeah, so I'm going to show you all the fabric. So kind of a bunch of it, but there's autism awareness puzzle pieces. There's a to that, so I can get two back sets out of that. And then she sent this one that is um, woodland slash buffalo plaid Christmassy. I always associate stuff like this with Christmas. And I made some bags last year that was buffalo plaid with white deer or black deer, black deer silhouettes on it. And uh, so that's another yard. So that's two more. And then llamas or alpacas, whatever. I don't know how to tell the difference. But um, I made some bags like this recently. So that's another yard. And then this floral, I guess, print. Really pretty. It's Grello, which everybody seems to love right now. I know Nicole really loves it. And I love Grello. Actually, back when me and Devin first met and we first got engaged, our wedding at first was going to be purple and silver because Devin wanted it. And then I changed my mind and I wanted Grello. Uh, our wedding was going to be colored Grello. And then we ended up waiting <laughs> four years to get married. And uh, then we just wanted to get married, so we just got married real fast and didn't even have colors <laughs> and then this is another yard of really cute yarn balls with some of them have I don't know if you can see it but there's crochet hooks stuck through them and knitting needles but what's really cool is that there's a crochet hook normally it's always knit related but this has crochet knit hooks um, poking through some of the yarn balls that's a yard too and then this is also a yard this is really cool I've never even seen any of these got yarn balls and like stitches and uh but there's knitting and it says knit together really cool it's got like rolls of thread it's another yard and then i think this is a yard too let me fold it out yeah this is a yard this is really cool because it's like it's got sheeps and cats and the sheeps are wearing sweaters and the cats are yarn balm and trees <laughs> that is so cute. I've never seen that material or I would have bought it. I'm going to have to ask her where she got these um, materials. That is so cool. <laughs> and then these are fat quarters, which these I can mix with other coordinating fabrics to make um, bags with. I've seen this one before. Someone had this one. But it's chickens knitting. <laughs> That's so cute. I think I know who might want this bag. <laughs> Probably if if she if she sees it and um, gets there fast enough when it's up, Becky I think will want that because she loves chickens and this is knitting chickens and she knits. <laughs> but look at this chicken it's sitting on like a nest, but it's it's a hanky yarn. <laughs> and then this is another fat quarter. The rest of these are fat quarters. Trying to unfold them because they fold them up really small. It's yarn buckets and it says eat, sleep, knit, knit, and knit happy. And then the border is a bunch of yarn balls. Super duper cute. And this one I like because I'm a sewer. <laughs> Seamstress, whatever. I know people don't like saying sewer because it's spelled like sewer, but. Oh well. <laughs> Bunch of sewing related stuff. And it's pink and I love pink. I actually have some other sewing prints, uh, fat quarters that someone else gifted me. I might see if they uh, match enough to put together. This one says, what does it say? Knit chicks. <laughs> It's chickens in a tractor knitting. <laughs> Are they knitting? There's a sheep in the wagon and the chicken has like a shawl 
cowl thing on. And then the last one, I happen to love this one because I love sea turtles. It's a sea turtle print. So I will uh, find coordinating colors to make bags of these. And with the fat quarters, what I'll probably do is, uh, like this real cute chicken one, I will make like the top half of the bag or the top um, like three quarters of the bag the print and then the bottom quarter will be like a coordinating color that way um, there's still more print than there is solid color but uh, yeah we'll see if I can get that to work right <laughs> all right so that's everything she said and I think I'm finally calmed down enough and I'm not crying until maybe I turn this off and if I ever look at that letter again I'm, I'm gonna cry some more but the next thing I wanted to show you that I got in the mail today was an order that I got I ordered last week sometime um, I know I make bags but I don't usually keep my bags because I sell them because I'm <laughs> not rich I need to make money and that's also why I don't buy a lot of bags from other people and it's not because I don't want to support them it's because I usually don't have the extra money in the random money budget to buy bags with usually when we have random extra money we either save it or I use it for extra groceries because we were on a pretty tight grocery budget but anyways <laughs> um, this is from Susie Pops Creations Let's see here, Susie Pops Creation, and uh, she's a viewer of mine. It has been for a while, and she's, I think it's pretty recent that she started making bags, because she used to sell her crochet stuff on her Etsy, and then she started making drawstring bags, kind of like mine, and now she's making all kinds of cool bags. And I'm not going to lie, she has a Nightmare Before Christmas one that I wanted to buy, but it was more expensive, and my budget wasn't for it. So I bought, I got the second one that I wanted, which is a Halloween bag, and I'm going to show it to you in just a second. Let me make sure. It looks nice. Ta -da. It smells really good too. She had like a dryer sheet in there and I smelled it as soon as I opened it. But it's black cats and pumpkins. And the bag is a square bag. There's the bottom if you're interested. Ugh, I'm trying to. <laughs> the, or the sides are orange and the front and back are the pumpkins. The handles are really nice. There's a string on there. Um, she did the top stitching on there. Makes them look real fancy. Really nice. It's kind of like a tote style bag. It's got ribbons on it so you can tie it shut. And on the inside, there are little pockets on the side of the bag, on both sides. Let's see here. There's three little pockets there. And on the other side, there's two bigger pockets. You know, to stick your hooks. And if you have a paper pattern, you can fold it up and stick in there. And oh, God, it smells so good. <laughs> But it's a pretty big bag, and I can't wait to do this. And I'm going to use it more than just Halloween. And actually, to be honest, right now, since it's Halloween season, I'll probably use it as kind of like a purse. Um, just because it's cute. You know, I only ever carry my wallet when we go out of the house, but I can throw my wallet down in there and uh, a little crochet project or something, and uh, it'll look cool in Halloween. But she also sent me this card. Cute thank you card with a puppy on it. <laughs> and also, she sent me a gift. And it's a crochet dish, dish cloth, which is awesome because those are my favorite kind of dish cloths. <laughs> and a bunch of stitch markers. So, this is the dish cloth. And then these stitch markers are the alphabet ones for like a hook size. And this side has got a really cool puffy thing, which I have a yellow one that's my favorite. And this one has, says uh, homemade and it's got a flower on it. And then this last one is a yarn ball with some knitting needles sticking out of it. They're kind of wavy at the end, so it, it could be like once. <laughs> but I'm a Harry Potter person, so. But I love this cloth, so I'll be using it for sure. That's the mail that I got today. I'm supposed to get some tomorrow. I know for sure one of them is uh, my labels for my bags. I'm supposed to be making bags this week, but my labels haven't come because of the long weekend. I'm hoping that they come tomorrow so that I can start sewing my bags and... Um, what else? I don't know what the other one is. I'll have to wait and see. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to attach the clip, like I said earlier, to the end of this of the Happy Mile I got last week, I think. And yeah. So if you don't see that clip, I can't find it and I'll have to refilm it. But uh, thanks for watching. And Michelle, thank you. And Susie, thank you for not only sending me the bag I ordered, but for sending me such cute extras. And I will see you guys next video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Today is August. 30th so it's almost the end of august tomorrow's the last day of august tomorrow's also fair day for me to go enter my um items and then later that evening i get to go back and see if i want anything so i will definitely be filming that and actually later today i'm going to be filming and putting out 
a video of all the things I'm entering into the fair. I think I have 13 things this year that I'm entering because I didn't have uh, a whole lot of extra time to work on just um, fair stuff. But I did want to... Um... <laughs> I lost something. I did want to share you guys um, some Happy Mom that I got today. And um, as usual, I, um, I don't like saying people's names who sent me stuff because... I was always raised when you give people stuff, you're not supposed to like brag about it or, um, you know, you're not supposed to do it for yourself. You're doing it for that person. So, uh, I always try to keep the names private unless they tell me that they want me to say it or something. But, uh, I got this gift today. I wasn't expecting it at all. I didn't even know it was coming until yesterday. It was in my, um, informed delivery and, uh, it was from a viewer and it's just a gift that she, she saw at their store and thought of me and so she bought it and then she also sent up a, a few extras and then the congratulations card for getting married uh earlier this year and she also sent a gift card but look at this is the card she sent it's really pretty i just got sparkles <laughs> but it's just you know like a wedding congratulations card she did send two little toys for jesse and he's already got them in there as soon as i opened the box he's seen the toys it was um monster truck hot wheel thingies which he has a ton of, and the two that she sent he doesn't have, so he was excited about that. And uh, they're already somewhere in the living room. But um, she sent me something really cool that she also got at her thrift store, and I've never seen before. <clears throat> and just super duper bulky cotton yarn. I probably make some kind of basket or something out of this, I don't know. But it's sugar and cream, but it looks older. The label looks older. And they were 60 cents each, but she said they were half off, so she paid 30 cents each for these. And uh, it's 100% cotton. The label's not like, you know, modern labels. They're not like right in your face. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where are the yardages? It says it's a uh, six ounce. I don't say the yardage. Let's see if it's on the inside of the label. There's a pattern. Oh, it's a bag pattern. Okay, I don't know. I don't know where it says the yardage. But she sent me two of the red ones. <clears throat> and they're like bulky cotton. Which is really cool. And then this green one that I just ripped the label off of. And then this is like a maroon burgundy color. It has to say the yardage somewhere. I'm probably overlooking it. Remember saying cotton, 170 grams. It doesn't say the yardage. So I suggested hook size is a 10 millimeter. And they all have different patterns. Yeah, that one's, the green one has like a market bag um, pattern. And it actually tells you how many balls you need to make it. It says three. The maroon one's got like a uh, placemat table runner thing. And so do the red ones. That's cool. I might actually make this. I got enough I can make that bag and then have one extra that I can make like a random something with. <laughs> but I can make a red and green bag for Christmas. But yeah, so those big giant cottons. I've never seen bulky cotton, so I thought that was cool. Just was sent some candy. Big old thing of Twizzlers. And these, which I love. I don't think Jesse made these. I don't know, they're sour. You might not love them. But I don't want them. Okay, well you don't need them right now anyways. It's too early. And then she said this is just one of those Yardley, or how do you say it? Soaps. Like a, you know, to make it smell good. And it does, because as soon as I opened the, um, the box, I smelled it. But what the, Mama, the... can you smell it? Yeah, here. Mama. Just smell it. Don't play with it, because you get it everywhere. The amazing thing that she sent me that I love and I can't wait to use it and it's so funny because I actually I started a blanket yesterday <clears throat> a 12 point star blanket out of some yarn that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby because I wanted a blanket for myself for the living room for like all the time not just holidays and all that and then she she saw this at the, her thrift store for two dollars and she bought it for me um because it's Halloween colors and she knows that I love Halloween. But it's knitted. Someone knitted this and uh, someone donated it. And now it's mine. <laughs> Ooh, it smells like orange juice. Oh, orange juice. But it is a big old knitted blanket. Let me make sure I'm holding it right. 
and Halloween colors. I can't even hold it all. But it's black and white, and it's got cabling. And black and white, black and orange, <laughs> and then orange. And then a black section. It smells really nice. And then another black and well, orange I section. Need to have it now. Just set it down, okay? Mommy's trying to show this big old blanket. It's big. Mama, do you want those a whole one? I do. Well, I, oh, apple it's on heavy it. too. Is there an apple on it? That's cool. Let's take it back in the box. For but it's big and beautiful and I love it and I can't wait to uh, eat it, Mama. We'll eat we'll eat some later, okay? It's too early for candy right now. Did you find it? Got it. <laughs> Anyways, I see was thirsty. But um I'm super excited about that blanket. And even though it is Halloween colors, I'll probably use it a lot. Uh, you know, even out of Halloween in autumn. But I'm still gonna make my blanket because I got eight or nine cakes of this and I'm gonna try to use like the majority of them in this blanket to uh because I just wanted a big blanket for our couch that we can use all the time and not just when it's a certain holiday but yeah so I'm super appreciative for that blanket I can't wait to um get to using them what, what is he doing but yeah so I gotta put my big cottons up I got a box right here it's actually a Dorito box from Sam's Club that I put all my cotton in so I'm gonna try to fit these in there if they'll fit I can't believe this is bulky cotton, cotton though. I've never seen bulky cotton before. But that'll make a really cool bag or something. I might could just use all of it and make like a um, a basket. Kind of like that Jada and Stitches one, except, you know, just holding one strand since it's already bulky. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But yeah, so I'm about to go around the house and dig out all of my fair entries. Most of them are right here, and there's two behind you guys. And, um,. There's a couple in Jesse's closet I gotta go get and get them all together so I can film a video about what I'm entering in the fair. And then tomorrow morning I have to go enter the stuff into the fair. And then that evening we're going back to the fair to see what I won. And then we're going to let Jesse ride rides and uh, play games and stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too hot. But yeah, so I'm just sitting here. I got to do all that. What are you doing? I'm just making some more good. Uh-huh. Our garden's pretty much done for the season. I pulled up all my cucumber plants yesterday. And the tomato plants need to be uh, pulled up. And then Je Devin's pepper plants are still producing, but a lot slower and a lot smaller peppers. But I need to, uh, we got to, sometime this weekend, Devin's off for three days because it's Labor Day weekend here in the U.S., we got to get rid of all the dirt, load it up, and go put it in the, the garbage can or something. Now, and um, get the porch nice and cleaned up and ready for fall and winter. And then we'll start all over next spring. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's all I got to do today. I finally finished all with all the bags and stuff that I was making. They're in the shop. There's still some in the shop now. I'm moving you guys really quick. And, uh... So now I'm back to crocheting more. <laughs> Yesterday I was crocheting a test pattern for a friend. I'm almost finished it. I just got to do the facial features. And then I will be done with that. I got some more material that I was gifted. I meant to share all this the other day and I forgot. And I started putting everything up. And then I forgot. You know, I, I didn't have... It was all already put where it's supposed to be. And I didn't want to have to go back around and gather it all back up again. But these are going to be some bags going into the shop soon really cute prints um like strawberries and the liner is another strawberry print and then this right here will be a bag set this will be the outside and the inside outside inside <laughs> outside inside and these are all half yards which this is enough for a project bag and a notion pouch You okay? Outside, inside. Fake coffin. Outside, inside. Alright, hold on a second. I'll open the door for you. Outside, inside. I'm almost finished showing these material and then I will uh, help you, boo. 
I haven't figured this out yet. One of these will be the outside, one will be the inside. And then outside, inside. And then the last one will be outside, inside. So all those will be in the shop eventually. <laughs> I got all the stuff, zippers, interfacing, everything. I just got to cut the material out and then start the process of sewing. Um, let's see here. I got some more pumpkin bags done. Where, where are they? I finished three more of them <laughs> for my craft fair. Are you in my pumpkin sewing time? Oh, yeah, it's almost time to go to the pumpkin patch in like another month. The same person who gifted me the mother materials gifted me a bunch of fat quarters. And, um, I gotta, there's another bag design that I've been wanting to practice. And I'm going to use these to practice that bag shape. And there are a lot of really cute prints. Um, and it's going to be not a drawstring bag. It's going to be a different type of bag. And uh, hopefully if I can get the, the pattern uh, down pat, I can start putting them in the shop too. But there's just a lot of cute fat quarters and that. I can make drawstring bags with these, but the front and back of the bag would be different prints which is fine or I could cut them in half and the top and bottom part would be different prints but um I don't know just stuff I'm gonna play with after the craft fair is over with <laughs> I uh, I'm trying to get stuff ready for the craft fair still I bought a big old park. no I didn't say park I said craft fair got a big old Takura because there is a um I don't like being kicked don't wrap that on your neck um there's a hat I want to make for my Pokemon Community Days this fall. For the last two years, I've been wearing a Magikarp hat. If you know what Pokemon is, you know what that is. But this year, I got the pattern for Gyarados. I'm going to make the Gyarados hat and wear it this year, hopefully. But yeah, I think that's everything for now. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this stuff up and try to dig all my fair stuff. Okay, I got them all piled up here. Ready to film. This I finished. Y'all haven't seen this um, an Angel Christmas ornament. The only thing I need to do today is dig out um, a hook, or I guess I could just use a piece of yarn <laughs> for the hanger. And um, so I, I just whipped this up the other day real fast so that I could enter it into the uh, Christmas ornament category. I completely brain farted. And also, I'm not so sure I got the right pattern for this. Because this is a different stocking. This is a stocking I made earlier this, this year for the fair. And I was thinking I made. Yes, yeah, yeah. This is the Hers Hersoma or something like that. I was thinking I made the same one I made the last two years, but that was uh, like a brainwaves pattern. So this is a different one, yeah. But this is really pretty. I like this one. It's got like bubbles on it. Oh, yeah. All right. So I got 13, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, the Halloween one, 13. I can't share um, it with you guys because it's my pattern that I'm entering into the fair, but um, after afterwards, you'll, uh, September 13th, actually, Friday the 13th, is when those patterns are getting released. So, um, then you'll see it then. <laughs> I was just looking at um, the fair information for tomorrow. It's the first, today's technically the first day of the fair, but it's, nothing's going on, like the rides or anything not, not going on, just the uh, I think today's senior day, so they're doing like the senior pageant and all that stuff. But anyways, <laughs> um, that's a poster for a video game, by the way. So I was looking at tomorrow, which is Saturday, August 31st um, thing, and you can totally tell that I'm in the South. Because <laughs> at 10 in the morning tomorrow is goat show. And then at 5 p.m. is the cornhole tournament. <laughs> At 7 is the Pick Tennessee Recipe Contest, and that's where you make recipes about Tennessee products only, preferably homegrown ones. 7 p.m. is the Truck and Tractor Pool, <laughs> and then at 7 p.m. also, but behind the arena, is the Legacy Band, which you guys don't know who that is, but I do because I'm from here. It's like a bluegrass country band that's really big around here. <laughs> so, see you. We going to Vern tomorrow. I have some more Happy Mouth forgot to share with you guys. So this is totally, it's not set up good. But I want to give away over at Red Gingerbread. And she, I'll link her below. She'll send, uh, I want to give away, what am I trying to say? And she sent me two books for my giveaway. 
So I got them in the mail a couple days ago. This is a crochet stitch, like dictionary kind. It's got hundreds of crochet, crochet stitches in it, which will be good for designing patterns. This one I'm super excited about. This is 101 easy scrap crochet projects. I flipped through it and I've already found a bunch that I want to make. <laughs> so uh, I'm really excited about this. I really like this little doily placemat thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I got that too. I'll link her below. Guess what? Mommy heard the washer making a weird noise, so I went to look, and you know what I found in the washer? Yeah. A ladle. How did I get in the laundry? I don't know why. I'm pretty sure you did it.